So, our first ever video on this channel, we compared three different Bluetooth speakers at three very different price points, and the most expensive speaker that we tested was the $4,000 Diviolet Phantom in Canadian dollars. The gold. The version. gold version. But a lot of you guys have said that there is another Bluetooth speaker out there that actually sounds better for only $200, actually $168 on Amazon. Canadian. So what are we looking at today, Nathan? Today we are comparing what you guys suggested. We are comparing the JBL Charge 3 Bluetooth speaker they say it's waterproof, but it's more water resistant. Yeah. It's actually IPX7 waterproof, which means it can get wet a little bit, but you can't submerge it in water. Mm -hmm. We're comparing this speaker, which we really enjoyed, to this beast. Now, the Phantom. There's a disclaimer. We had an incident with our Phantom. <laughs> not have, me. Do we have video footage of that? We did not. Oh. It wasn't me. All right, it wasn't Nathan, but we had an incident where we may have dropped it and it does affect the sound a little bit but that does not take away from the overall sound quality and sound of the experience Divulet. yeah it is it is an experience but we'll get to that later first up the JBL charge 3 let's look at it so both of them are very easy to to connect to you can use all of the music streaming apps Spotify SoundCloud Tidal mm -hmm. Apple Music yeah on both of them Google Music any of them so it's pretty straightforward you just turn it on we have already Paired it actually, so it should automatically connect. Do you need a hold? There we go. So I have Bluetooth enabled. I'm pretty sure if I just go in here, I go through my settings, it automatically connects there to the is. Charge 3. Now that is super loud because we're doing a sound test, but we're gonna be going into SoundCloud. We're gonna be listening to our very favorite song. Not that brave. Are you not that brave? Okay, calm down. Now, other cool features, like you mentioned earlier, is that it is water resistant. There is a cool texture to it. This is meant to be carried around. It is battery powered. It mm -hmm. also acts as an external battery power to your phone, so you can charge it. The JBL will last for 20 hours on one charge. It yeah. has a battery of 6,000 milliamp hours in there, which is pretty big, bigger than big. a lot of, actually most big smartphones out there. It is, yeah. But let's listen to the sound quality. So this is at medium volume. Now, a couple external features, it does have buttons on it, plus minus volume, play pause, and Bluetooth connection. All right, so in terms of IO, it does have an aux in in case you do not have a phone that supports Bluetooth. It also has a micro USB to charge it, as well as a standard USB type B output to charge your other devices. Let's listen to it. The JBL Charge 3. We're gonna be testing it out at small, medium, and large volume levels. So this is pretty low volume. This is like, you know, you're just chilling. Can you notice on that camera there that it is vibrating? The JBL sign is slightly vibrating there. Yeah, so that is where the subwoofers are. The subwoofers, the bass, that's where it's generated. It's pretty neat seeing it vibrate. Mm -hmm. Once well, it gets to a louder setting, these will be much more visible. We'll get to that later. All right, but here we go. Let's turn it up. Let's get to halfway volume. Let's see what it sounds like. I am not going to lie. You guys suggested an amazing speaker like yes, this. We really like the speaker. For $160. You can also pair this up with multiple yeah, that's JBL another, Charge I was going to say that actually. Yeah, you can pair it up. So if you have a party mm -hmm. or if you want to play the same music in multiple rooms in the house, yeah. this is a go-to thing. Can you do that with? You can. But you'd pay an extra $4,000 for another speaker. I mean, I think, we'll, we'll get into that in a sec, but for $160, this speaker is incredible. I'm very happy you guys suggested it, but. Let's compare it. Yeah, how does it compare to the Phantom? To the Phantom, the gold edition Phantom, a bit damaged. We're gonna point this at the cameraman because I don't wanna really hear the whole thing. So, this is it. How to pair it, it's pretty straightforward. We already have it connected, but you go to Bluetooth. Oops. You go to Bluetooth, I already have it connected right there. 
It just says phantom. I'm gonna click it. it, should automatically connect. There's no noise when you connect to it. We're gonna start with the volume, hopefully, down. I, I really don't. Okay, here we go. The volume is low. Now, this does not have any more ports that are useful to your phone. It doesn't even have a volume button on it. It is just there. It's more like. This has 174 decibels of internal acoustic sound. That is ridiculous. I don't think the JPO comes That close. is massive. That's like rocket launch. And don't forget, Love this it. is a tiny, tiny speaker relative to like the onstage speakers. Yeah. But let's turn this up. So. Well, it says it's at half now, and then now it's at half. I mean, there, there really is nothing that compares to it. Like That was ridiculous. This is one speaker. Yes, the price is insane. But this tiny speaker is that loud. It and it's that clear. It would definitely fill like a massive room. If we get a noise no complaint, problem. I will not be surprised. <laughs> but pros and cons. $4,000, definitely In Canadian, it is expensive. This is also the highest quality Phantom you can get. It's the yeah. gold one. So it is $4,000 on Amazon, as opposed to this, which is $168 on Amazon. So there is a very, very mm -hmm. large price difference. Another, I guess, pro for the JBL is you can, t you can carry it around. Yeah, it is portable. This it is without any extension cables plugged into it. Mm -hmm. It lasts for 20 hours. Yeah. This one, it requires to be plugged in, so you can't, it's not really a portable device. It's something that you would put on a stand, leave in a room, and then play it in your living room yep. or something like that. Whereas this, you could take with you on the go, in the car, if you wanna to go to the beach, or you wanna to go to a party, something like that. This is more versatile, I would say. So, Nathan, after looking at the two speakers, hearing their fullest potential in a way, which one do you think is most worth it? Which one would you get? If you were, let's just say, a billionaire, unlimited no, money. Well, is, okay, well, okay, fine. No, okay, me fine, as fine, a person fine. right now. You as a oh gosh, here we go. Which one would you get? I'm gonna have to go with the JBL, obviously, because mm. it's only $168. It's way more versatile. You can carry it around with you. You can pair it with other devices. If you want to get another one, you can. I mean, the price of this compared to this, you could get approximately 20 of these for the price of one of those, and literally fill your room with tons and tons of these speakers. It wouldn't be the same, but I do have to agree with Nathan. The JBL Charge 3 for $168 is insane. I think the sound on both is really good. I don't know, my, my ears might not be as acquired. You know how they say like things are an acquired taste. I can't really notice a big difference between the two. You probably can a little bit more than me, but to me, both of them sound very, very well. So I don't, I couldn't see myself paying that much more for this speaker as opposed to this speaker. But we want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for suggesting this. Let mm -hmm. us know which one you would pick up. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you're new.